Welcome. My name is Peter Strong. I'm a professional psychotherapist specializing in mindfulness therapy, which I offer online via Skype for the treatment of anxiety, for help with depression, and also for helping in the process of recovery from PTSD and uh, uh, processing traumatic memories whether they are due to a traumatic event, uh, like an accident, a car accident, or, um, uh, of course, the traumatic events that may occur during war or uh, other violent assault, or even the, the traumatic events simply of witnessing um, a traumatic a, uh, a violent assault. Many uh, police officers and first responders struggle with processing traumatic uh, memories that they encounter in, in the line of work. So th there are many different approaches of course to working with PTSD but I find the mindfulness approach to be particularly effective and the reason is is because it focuses on the exact mechanism that's going on in your mind that creates that emotional trauma um, and there's two basic um, processes that we work on here the first is learning how to um, change our relationship to our traumatic memories so that we do not become consumed by emotional or cognitive reactivity. We have to learn to witness those uh, traumatic memories without becoming overwhelmed. So that's a very important part of uh, mindfulness therapy, um, learning how to do that and I will teach you how to do that uh, in our online therapy sessions together. Another very important part of processing traumatic memories is to change the imagery of the memory. How you see that memory in the mind is what actually uh, re-traumatizes you. That is, that imagery, the structure of the imagery is what encodes the emotional pain. So during mindfulness therapy we explore the imagery of the emotion and we explore changing that imagery. When you change the imagery of an emotion, uh, you change the emotion. A, a simple example of that is how large the uh, image is that you see when you um, recall the traumatic event and how close that image is in your mind's eye. Typically intense traumatic images are very large and very close. So that that feature of the imagery being very large and that quality of being very close is what actually creates the emotional trauma. Now, normally, uh, for most people, we are constantly processing our memory images and changing that imagery quite naturally and unconsciously. Typically, Images start off large and close and vivid and over time they become small and distant and faded. That's a natural process uh, that the mind uses to digest experiences, especially emotionally charged experiences. However, when the emotional charge is um, too high, as in the case of uh, a, a traumatic memory, 
then that normal processing doesn't happen and the imagery becomes stuck, uh, frozen in time. And this is what lies behind flashbacks um, and intrusive memories that keep coming back um, and re-traumatizing us. It's simply that the imagery has not changed, it is stuck. So during mindfulness therapy we work a great deal on exploring that imagery and then changing it to help it resolve and heal. It's really quite an effective method. It's something I call mindfulness-based image reprocessing and it can produce quite uh, dramatic changes in a very short time. Once you see the imagery and start um, exploring how to change that imagery um, to uh, allow that memory to, um, to, to digest, essentially, so that it no longer causes emotional pain. So those are two of the aspects of uh, mindfulness therapy that we explore. The first is learning how to witness the uh, memory without reacting and without feeding that uh, emotional pain through reactivity. And the second part is reprocessing the memory imagery itself. When you combine both of these approaches, you can um, produce remarkably uh, consistent changes and uh, promote recovery in a relatively short time, within a few weeks. It should not take years of uh, work to recover from emotional trauma. So if you'd like to learn more about uh, mindfulness-based uh, psychotherapy for recovery from PTSD or for working with the associated emotions around PTSD that often form um, as reactive emotions to that initial trauma, emotions like guilt, shame, um, uh, anger, and and so on. These can all be uh, worked on very effectively using the uh, well-tested methods of mindfulness therapy that that I use and have developed and refined over the last ten years. So, if you'd like to um, schedule online therapy with me via Skype do please go to my website and then uh, contact me by email so we can schedule a Skype therapy session and then you can see for yourself how effective this approach can be. Thank you.